Well, hey everyone, I'm Jim with Touring and Trails. This week, I'm gonna test out my new solar panel. Got a 100 watt Jackery Solar Saga. We're gonna use it to charge up my Jackery Explore 290 that I've had for a couple of years. Up to this point, I've had to use a, a shore power to keep this thing charged up. I wanna do a little more off-grid, so I wanna see if this solar panel's gonna do the job. First, this Jackery Explorer has been really good for us. I use it to run my DC fridge. I use it to charge up devices, computers, uh, batteries, whatever it might be. And it's taken really good care of me. So let's open up this box and see what we have. Looks like it opens up real nice. Got a user guide. Yeah, do the right thing with that. And let's get this thing opened up. New toys, gotta love them. Okay, got a nice long cord on it. That way you can keep your device in the shade and then keep your solar panel in full sun which is exactly what I'm gonna do. So let's get this hooked up. Got a, an adapter for the Explore 1500 and 2000. I don't need that for mine. Let's get that dude unplugged. Simply plug it in and let's see if it does anything. So instantly, getting some wattage. I'm currently at 56% with the Jackery, so 14, 15 watts right there. Let's see if I can get this in a little bit more sun. Doing a little better. I got 22 to 25 watts. I think we can still do a lot better than that. So let me let me move this again. That's looking a little better. 56, 55, 50. So 50 to 55 watts. I got it on the table. Pretty much full sun going right now. So that's that's doing a much better job. 56%. So I'm going to see how long it'll take to charge this thing up to 100%. Uh, right now it's about 10 a.m. So I'll get back with you when it's at full charge. All right, it's taken about three hours, but here's where we are at. We are at 100%, so three hours to go from 57% to 100% with the new 100 watt Solar Saga panels and the Jackery Explorer 290. Oh, I'm going to assume if it was at 0%, we would be looking at maybe six to eight hours to fully charge it with 100 watt panels. I think that's to be expected. So I'm good with that. Um, you know, both of these items, you know, didn't spend a fortune on it. I'm not looking at to run the whole RV or a house for goodness sake, but um, to be able to keep my DC fridge going and keep my items recharged, I think that's gonna do a great job. So let me know what you think in the comments and any suggestions from you for going forward, what we should use you got a setup that works great for you let me know but hey thanks for watching give us a thumbs up like share subscribe we'll see you down the road